Hey guys, gonna do a quick makeup look with my 3D Saint foundation. I'm gonna start with my contour, the color Astoria. I'm putting that, I'm just gonna swap it tonight. Just put it along my cheekbones, my forehead, on my jawline, right up under my bottom lip, and along the sides of my nose. And I'm using the buff brush. It's a full coverage, very dense, dual-ended brush. Now I'm going with my main highlight. I'm flipping it over and using the bigger side and I'm still just swapping. I'm swapping the color Sandy on. I'm putting that everywhere that I did not put my contour. Now I'm gonna flip over and use the small end again and I'm putting my brightening highlight shade, which is Sunlit. It's very yellow and it's got a great color corrector for um, the blue undertones under my eyes. And I'm just putting that places that I want to bring light to um, the center of my face, down the bridge of my nose, my chin. And now I'm flipping it back over, same brush, and I'm just gonna blend it all together. I usually blend with um, my lighter shades first, and then I finish along my cheekbones and my nose. You really wanna blend it good, especially using this brush because it's so full coverage, and if you're not careful, you'll use too much product. So one of the ways where you um, where you can go in and correct using too much is use your perfector sponge and just go in and bounce it all over your face and it'll pick up any excess product that you have and then it blends the entire look together to make, to make it look seamless. I'm gonna go in with my same brush and I'm gonna pick um, the color Hollywood for my blush. It's a really pretty pink color. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, it's comparable to NARS, to their famous one that they have. And then I'm just going to kind of go over and blend it a little better with my sponge. And then I'll use it on my lips, too, because it's lip and cheek. Now I'm going to go in and use, oh, bronzer. I'm going to use the blush and bronzer brush. It's a great brush, too. I went a little heavy-handed today, but if that ever happens, then just, you can just keep swirling it around or keep blending it, and it'll blend right out. But I love a bronze look, so I don't mind it one bit. And I always be sure to do my neck, too, so that it ties the whole look in together. And I'm going to go into my illuminator. It's the color Pearl. And I'm just going to give a little bit of extra pop on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and on my cheekbones. I'm going to do a couple quick sprays with my setting spray. That's the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. And then I just go through with, I use my sponge several different times. But I'm using the Thrive setting powder. I just, my damp sponge, I just, I just um, pop it in there a couple times and then just hit my T-zone where I'm typically oily because I'm an oily person. Now I'm going in with the eyeshadow brush and I'm trying to decide what eyeshadows to use. I'm gonna start with the color Bird. It's a really pretty neutral brown. It's a great transition shade that looks good on all eye colors. Just putting that in my crease and I'm also, I'll flip the brush over and I'm gonna put it in my lower lash line. And now I'm gonna use the color Stardust on my eyelids. I'm using it with my finger to make it a little bit more, have a little more pop to it. And then I'm gonna go into my outer crease with the color Trust just to deepen it up a little bit. It's gonna be a really simple eye look. That's basically all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in and put just a little bit on my um, lash line too, on my upper and on my lower. My son's leaving. Come by, he's going to work. Just to kind of make my eyelashes look a little bit fuller. I'm not going all out tonight, so just a little bit. Then I'm gonna put on my mascara. That's the Pharmacy 3D Effect. Just simple. And I'm going to top it off with some lip gloss. It's the Too Faced Lip Injection. And that's it, guys. Thanks.